we back once again, back talking about some Virgil Hunter and the comments he made at the round table discussion um, for the Ward Kovalev 2 rematch t- t- this week. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back one time for the one time. But all this, you know, these Pacquiao Mayweather, you know, reporters out here, they only want to report uh, and cover, you know, major freak shows or major, you know, fights. You know, they want to pop their head back in to get some views on their channel. We ain't rocking like that. We're going to bring y'all tasteful boxing, real boxing, before we even get to the McGregor and Mayweather announcement. Um, but let's talk about what Virgil Hunter said today. And, uh, you know, shout out to Fight Hype, you know, Boxing Voice, everybody out here covering and getting these exclusive round t- table interviews as well. Um, he did go on and said that, um, that um, you know, Andre Ward, had some, uh, like a knee contusion going into the Kovalev fight and they didn't want to reschedule it because it was a big fight and pretty much, man, you know, Andre Ward has been, you know, in and out the ring and hadn't had a big fight and that equal big money in quite some time. So there was something they felt that they needed to work through. And um, he revealed today, like, you know, after the fight, you know, um, they it revealed that he had, a, I think he said he had a sack in his knee that, you know, every physician overlooked and um, they drained it and they found out he had a partial tear. I think he said he had a partial tear, I think in his right knee and they found the sack and he healed, you know, better than ever. And he said so many physicians or, you know, and doctors overlooked that small little minor thing and it made it made the difference in Andre Ward. And that might be a reason where Andre Ward might've been, um, seem a little slow and not as quick, you know, with his movement because your, your feet is your base. Your knee is one of the first things that started to go, especially in, a, in any sport where you're using your feet, even in golf. You see Tiger Wood, knee, back, all that shit. Using your legs. Once your legs go in the sport, it's pretty much over with, especially your knee. That's the, the real key to keep your knee, you know, um, fluid and, and, and still working and still have that strong structure or whatever. He said that the physician that they went to, you know, he found the sack, drained the sack. You know, they repaired the tear, I guess. They, were, you know, repaired the tear and all that shit. And he came back better than ever. And then, to segue into something else, he also said that um, he trained Andre Ward this this fight to go for the knockout versus Kovalev. Um, you know, he don't get a lot of credit as far as what he does with other fighters. But to his to his, to his to his credit in, in defense of that, a lot of fighters that he worked with, they suck in their ways. He get them midway through their, through their careers on pretty much the downslope of their careers where they're on the other side of that prime. Uh, that peak, that prime peak, and he gets a lot of guys on the other side. So you can't get mad at him. Um, who, who in the, who in this boxing world can train Alfredo, Alfredo and Gulo and make him into more of a boxer instead of an aggressive fighter? Who in this world can give Amir Khan some defense? You know, make him more patient and stop being a, a machine gun with his punches and tell him to slow him down to one and two and just use his height and his reach and his boxing and his athletic ability. You know, and that guy just got into a road rage incident where he got punched and it got very very serious. Cause he made a wrong turn and cut somebody off, so hopefully Amir Khan is okay. But you know, honestly, who, who, you know, fun for her. You know, he knocked out Chavez Jr., but he got knocked out by Joe Smith Jr. You know, who thought thought he was a world beater to begin with? You know, you can't make, you know, you can't make gold with scrap, with scrap metal. You know what I mean? You know, Andre Berto, he was what he was. He wasn't gonna change Berto. You know, I think some of those fighters were fool, fools to think he was changing. And, and clearly his body of work with Andre Ward have, has indicated that he's a hell of a trainer. You know, boxing career or not, no boxing career. He's doing something right. Keisha Cole's daddy is doing something right. Yes, he is Keisha Cole's father. <laughs> he's doing something right out here. You know, this kid hasn't lost since he's 13. He, he deserves some credit for that. Instead of just getting the lion, lion's share of the blame. You know, but he does deserve some blame for some of the fighters he has he dealt with. We see what he did with Kid Chocolate. But training Andre Ward for the knockout this time, um, I think that's a correlation with the knee being stronger. I think Andre Ward is going to be able to, you know, move a little bit better. And I believe him. I don't think, you know, Team Ward isn't that type of, you know, it's not in their character to make excuses. You know, I believe the knee was really hurt. They didn't, you know, they didn't, you know, show x-rays after the fight. They didn't talk about it after the fight. They didn't do none of that. You know, they took the win and they rolled. And I think if they'd have lost it, they took the loss without revealing the x-ray and saying that shit. So... You know, this is a game changer. I'm not going to change my pick because of this, but I think if Andre Ward looks phenomenal, this is how has something to do with it. You know, the knee and, and, and them training for the knockout this time, I think the knee allowing them to do what they want to do this time, I think he can be more aggressive, move a little bit better. I think he's going to be 
quicker and more elusive. And it kind of does, you know, kind of affect, you know, some people pick uh, if it's true. You know, if it's true, we'll find out fight night. If he looks better, look quicker. I thought he was looked, he was fighting a quick stand last fight a little bit until he got woke up. But we'll see uh, if Virgil Hunter's telling the truth or not. We'll see after the fight. We almost there. Three more days. Can't wait. It's starting to pick up steam and starting to really make its way around Vegas in the world. We gone.